Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. So the leaves on your rose plant is burning or getting curled. Plus blooms are also getting burned similar to this one. If yes, then what to do? Alright, let's take a look at few steps that we need to do. Basically it happens due to pest attack and we find these symptoms more often in summer. Here is one of my rose plant which is looking really pathetic. Look at the branches, new leaves and we can see some serious issues on the plant. Honestly saying hybrid roses do much better in warm and dry climate and they usually don't do that well in humid environment. Humidity in my place is quite high and I usually get lots of troubles while growing the hybrid roses and they need too much care. However, we can grow the desi variety very easily in hot and humid environment. Anyway, let's see what we need to do. The very first thing that I am going to do is hard pruning of my plant. We can see some new growths and I am going to prune all the branches just above the new shoots. Done with pruning and let's take a look at the next step. As a second step, I am going to remove the surrounding soil and then going to add fresh soil mix. For the soil mix, I am taking 60% normal garden soil and 40% vermicompost. According to my own experience, roses don't do that well in sandy soil and that's why I am taking bit clay type soil. If you like, you can avoid doing these things at this moment. But it would be better if you do as this way the plant is going to grow well because of the fresh soil. All right, done with removing the soil and please take a look how I did it. Next, it's time to add the new soil. Here again I am going to do another important thing. I am going to add one fertilizer and the name of the fertilizer is Rose Beauty. Going to apply 50 grams that is 10 teaspoons. But in case your plant is very new then please use only 25 to 30 grams at once. If you don't have the Rose Beauty then you can use any other fertilizer that is available specially for roses and you would get them either in local fertilizer store or even online. In case you don't want to use any branded fertilizer then please check out my videos where I have shown two best ways to fertilize rose plants. The first method includes both organic and chemical fertilizers and the second method includes only organic one. I would put the links to those videos in the description. I am done with everything and it's time to water. After watering I am going to keep the plant on terrace and I would protect the plant from afternoon sunlight. Let's take a look at the most important thing now. I already said you that this symptom usually occurs when the pest attack our plant and to protect our plants we need to use pesticide. The pesticide that I am going to use is Theta and it's a bio pesticide. It's available on Amazon and please find the link in description. Trust me it really works well on roses. The dose is 1.5 ml in 1 liter water and here I am taking one 1 liter sprayer. Please try to spray at least once in 7 to 10 days and spray either evening or very early morning. These are the most important things that we need to do for a healthy rose plant. You may be also wondering whether it's okay to apply only the pesticide. Well, if your plant is looking somewhat healthy, then it's okay even if you just apply the pesticide. But if the health looks really bad, something like my plant, then please do all the things I have said here. We are done with everything and it's time to see few updates. 
So guys, this is the final result after 65 days and here you can see the plant is looking way too different than before. The leaves are looking fresh and healthy. Plus, there is no any leaf burning issue on my plant. It has been also blooming on regular basis and I am really very very happy with the result. However, I do have to agree that the size of the blooms is getting decreased and it's because of too much hot weather. Currently, temperature in my place is around 33 to 37 degrees Celsius. The too much intense sunlight is also burning the petals a bit and I think it's okay. In fact, petals of hibiscus plant is also getting burned. So guys, basically saying these are the things that we need to do whenever we see curly leaves or burned leaves on our rose plant. If any of your plant is not doing well, please try all these things and I hope you would also get satisfied result. Finally, also note that roses need constantly moist soil and that's why please water your plant daily during the summer. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Have a great time and enjoy.